Hi, I'm Angel Oakley and I'm here with Eric Barton and we are at the Greenbelt Home Tour in Chicago and we are in uh, River Forest at the first passive home and we have the ICEF panels here forms, yes. from Logix yes. and so tell me a little bit about these, what are we doing? Well, this house, this passive house is uh, three stories of concrete, concrete from the footings all the way up to the roof and what it is is it gives you a continuous concrete, which is a great air seal, also a layer of insulation on the inside, a layer of insulation on the outside. We can attach siding to the ICFs. We attach our waterproofing membrane to the ICFs. I'm going to spin it around here. Also with this system, you can put your drywall directly to the wall system. Uh, here we have a, a, a way to tie the floor joists in, and uh, so basically, you know, this building is concrete from the footing all the way to the top, and with insulated concrete forms, it gives us a super airtight layer, and it tested at point three air changes per hour. Um, but now you said you could attach the drywall directly here in this house. Is there insulation additional? There is. In it, it's okay. a little different on this house uh, with the expanded R values for passive house. Okay. So in this house there is a 19 inch wall, right? And this is about That's 12, 11. It's 11. about 12 inches. Okay. So on, on this particular house we have one more layer of insulation which is two by fours. And then we have four more inches of insulation on the outside to give us our passive house assembly of our 54. About. Wow, okay. Which is way above the standard. Way above the right. standard, way above code. And we have R100 in the ceiling. And underneath the basement slab, we have eight inches of EPS, which gives us an R46 or so. Very nice. So. Well, you can tell in there, down in the basement, when you put your hand on the wall, it is, it's not hot. And I would imagine that in the winter, in the wintertime, it's not going to be cold either. Right? Yeah. So it keeps the temperature nice and even in the interior of the house. And the sound is amazing. Super, well, super airtight with the windows and the wall systems, but the STC ratings are, are huge on concrete walls. Um, when there's heavy thunderstorms, you won't be able to hear them. Heavy airplane traffic, which is not in this neighborhood, you wouldn't be able to hear them. So, very quiet. So that's important by the airport. Yeah. Um, and when I was inside, there was a home tour going on, and there were about 15 people in there, and I was heading up the stairs. They were in the bedroom just down the hall. You couldn't even hear it. You couldn't hear that there was anyone in the house. It was amazing. Well, this is showing how strong and durable concrete houses are. This is a photo, and I forget the name of the hurricane, um, but the ICF house is the only house left on that entire coastline after the hurricane went through. So, super durable structures. And if you're familiar with environmentalist Ed Begley Jr., he signed my wall. And Ed Bagley Jr. is actually doing a uh, lead platinum home in California right now. He's working on that and expecting to do a show. Um, so one other uh, quick question with this. How much of the wall did you do with this system? All in the this way. House? All the, the way up. The entire ex the, perimeter shell. So even all the way up in the eaves? No, the not not above the roof because the roof's flat, flat ceiling and all insulation above. So not above the roof line. Okay, so pretty much just as far just as the living the, space is. Correct, to the top okay. of the wall. Excellent. You can get a quick shot of the house here. And the Chicago Greenbelt Home Tour is going on this weekend. And you can still check it out tomorrow. Just stop, uh, check it out online. And uh, you can stop in and buy your ticket at a house.